Team Norway, uh, another win this season, but uh, it wasn't as easy maybe as many expected. I will start with you, Sturla, because it was a teammate that had the most trouble. So what happened there? Uh, I think I uh, I was maybe having a bit too little respect for, for the field. I was uh, going in front and pulling the field the whole time and uh, maybe using too much energy. and. Uh, uh, yeah. With the crowd also, with adrenaline, you don't really feel that you're tired. And then yeah, I think, yeah, it's okay, I have a low pulse. But uh, when I came into the range and I started to try to find, find the targets, I feel like I have little control. And um, I should have done uh, things uh, differently going into the last shooting there because uh, it's starting to become like a bad habit for me to, to uh, use extra shots in the standing in the relays. So uh, it's uh, time for me to try to change this. We actually seen in the replay that indeed the shots were a little bit uh, all over. Um, have you had the chance to talk to your coach and maybe uh, analyze what happened there? Yeah, I talked with Siggy and uh, he says uh, maybe I was a bit too offensive both in the tracks but also in the shooting. I was uh, Before I came to the range uh, my focus was to try to hit the target this time, not use extra shots. But when I hit the mat my focus totally switched and was like, like fired the first shot and uh, tried to be fast and uh, this is not what you want in the relay. In the final loop then you tried to catch as many positions as possible. Are you anyway satisfied with the performance on skis? No, I feel still my shape is a bit lacking after uh, the Christmas sickness. So uh, yeah, I was uh, not really happy with my real leg but uh, luckily for me I have such good teammates so they could fix the, the damage I made. Thank you, best of luck next time. Vetle, you instead looked really strong on skis once again uh, but maybe not great pacing the last loop, you looked a bit <laughs> tired. Uh, did I? <laughs> for sure I was. I, I, you know with this third leg that normally uh, Johannes is, is going for us, I thought okay, uh, now, now I'm in the position that Johannes used to to be in, and and I know how strong he is. So I tried to, yeah, uh, to learn a little bit from him and start really really tough. Um, try to catch the gap, uh, especially to to Germany because uh, France was they were quite quite uh, ahead of us. Uh, but it was um, still some possibilities to to catch Germany. I thought, and I had a really good speed on the, in the first leg, and I kept this attacking mode on the prone shooting and. I look forward to, to, to watch the analysis afterwards because I think it was one of my fastest <laughs> prone shootings uh, ever. It was uh, uh, very, very uh, attacking. Uh, and then I, I still had some seconds to, to catch up on, on France, and, France and, and Germany on the second loop. So that became a pretty tough loop as well. <clears throat> so I was a little bit afraid uh, for the standing shooting and my, my legs, would they, would they be shaky or not? Uh, Luckily, they weren't, and I could uh, keep on this uh, attacking mode. And um, yeah, I missed the last uh, shot, but uh, but the spare shot was really efficient. And uh, uh, the last loop was uh, a hell, uh, and uh, Benny caught caught up on me. But it, still, it was okay uh, because sometimes it can be be better to uh, to go out for the fourth leg in in the back of. Uh, back of the leading team uh, and uh, I think uh, I think Johannes liked it. <laughs> Thanks, it was a very thorough analyse. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, what did you say? It was a very thorough analyse yeah, from you. Yeah, it was a two minutes uh, analysis of the race. So uh, He likes to talk a lot. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, it was every part of the race, so uh, uh, enjoy. <laughs> congratulations. Thank you. Team Germany, uh, congratulations on a podium in front of an amazing crowd. Uh, I will start with the emotions. Uh, how special is it to get a podium in front of the crowd like this? Oh, thank you very much. I think it's always nice to be on the podium, but a little bit more nice when you are on the podium at home. Especially for me, I train here since I started biathlon, so it's, well, it's quite a good day. You had a, 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 stri a strike of good uh, performances at the shooting range. Uh, how are you satisfied that, to be able to bring it for the team today? Actually, I was quite nervous because uh, the last weeks I was not performing as I expected and as I think many others expected as well. So the pressure was high today, but the, the last races I could stabilize my shooting and improve. So I think it was good to get in shape uh, in the right moment. Congratulations. Roman, uh, 
Not an easy task to bring home a podium. Uh, how nervous were you when you got tapped in the first place? Yeah, I was really nervous. I felt a lot of pre-start uh, tension, uh, which uh, left. Uh, yeah, fortunately, when I uh, was on the skis again, um, so it was racing time again, and I could do my own thing. Um, I really enjoyed the the home crowd because I felt. Yeah, kind of stable and uh, yeah, sure uh, with with my with my shots. Um, so it was a mix of of, uh, of, of nervous feelings or um, yeah, uncertain feelings and of uh, excitement. But at the end, it was a really really nice day. What's the feeling like uh, when you see your team uh, just across the finish line? What? Sorry? What's the feeling when you're crossing the finish line ah. and you see the team there waiting for you? Yeah, really nice feeling because I wanted to, to save the, the work they have done already. Uh, I wanted to secure the second place with uh, everything I got. So, uh, yeah, I wasn't uh, um, chasing Johannes in the first place. Uh, and so when I saw them, I think second place is like kind of like a win. So all of us were really happy and I enjoyed uh, celebrating in front of the uh, crowd and in front of my teammates. <laughs> Deservedly so. Congratulations. Thank you. Team France, congratulations on a podium today. I will start with Eric. Uh, after a, a few difficult weeks at the end of last year, uh, you seem to have found your groove again in IBU Cup and today was a very strong performance. So how happy are you with uh, giving the lead to your team after the first leg? Yeah, thank you. Um, that was so cool to be back in the relay, uh, especially after yeah, a tough moment in December. So I was really proud to, to take the first uh, leg and uh, yeah, really happy with the, how it happened, uh, especially on the shooting range. So yeah, really happy to, to give uh, France a, a good start. Uh, you obviously had the uh, first leg also in Contiolati, uh, again a good performance. So what, uh, what do you feel is so special with you and this, uh, this leg in the relay? Well, I don't know. I, um, I, I like relay because I represent France and like, my country and also I like the, like the duel between France and Norway. And I know it's a sp special moment to, to have a chance to beat them. So yeah, I give everything to, 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 yeah, to give a chance to the team. So. Well, you did super good. Congratulations. Thank you. Antonin, instead you had some troubles today. Can you tell us what happened there? Um, I felt a bit nervous on the range because uh, Vettli and Benny uh, caught me on the, tr on the track. And, uh, you know, I, I'm, I used to um, do the first leg or a few years uh, ago, the last one. But uh, it was strange for me to be in the lead and being chased by, uh, by uh, tough guys. So I was nervous, but uh, my legs uh, wasn't shaky as uh, when it's a real nightmare to, to shoot. It was quite okay, but <sighs> nervous enough to to put uh, yeah to, to get mistakes. I've seen uh, that at the end, um, Kantan was uh, really trying to console you. What did he tell you? Yeah, I was happy uh, uh, with the behavior of uh, Kantan because uh, in the past, sometimes. He was uh, so disappointed about uh, a teammate uh, missing, so he was a bit, uh, yeah, just after the race, uh, he was disappointed. But no, he's uh, getting older and, and older, and he's more wise. So he was smiling, and he told me that shit happens to every biathlete, uh, biathlete so yeah, it... Uh, it was a uh, yeah, nice uh, move for, from uh, him to me. Well, there's always a second chance in Barcelona, so uh, it will be better next time. Yeah, I hope uh, to be qualifying the French uh, relay uh, soon again. Thank you. Congratulations, guys. Thank you. Thank you.